huge fan of John Stott's writings. I remember walking into my local Christian bookshop as a teenager and being handed a whole tome of his work um, by the bookshop owner. And actually, that was such a gift to me. It was a book called Issues Facing Christians Today, uh, where Dr. Stott dealt with a whole range of issues, whether it was the environment, whether it was poverty, equality. Uh, and it was a real eye-opener for me that my faith needed to impact the way that I was living in the world. And um, a lot of my reflection now, as I look back, um, is that John Stott's work really formed my understanding of who I am, my identity as a Christian. And he did that in three ways. The first is it helped me understand who I am in the world. What, what am I supposed to be doing? What does it mean to be part of God's family? And um, books that he wrote around the area of mission were particularly powerful to me. Um, John Stott was the, the, the arbitrator between um, two large factions that were taking place during the Lausanne uh, First World Evangelization Conference. Uh, he had a really radical uh, Latin American group that were very passionate about God's justice. Um, and he had a very conservative Western European and American group that were really passionate about evangelism. And God used John Stock to build a bridge that was actually so helpful to the life of the church. Um, and the image for me that really helped was to understand mission in the world as two blades of a pair of scissors, that the total task for which God has sent his people into the world must include speaking about the gospel, the good news, and declaring all that Jesus has done for us. Uh, but it must also include demonstrating that in gracious acts of kindness, service, and mercy into our communities. And those two blades, when they cut together in incredibly effective and that has really shaped my understanding of who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing as a Christian. Hence I'm working with uh, vulnerable children but I'm also passionate about apologetics and evangelism. Uh, the second area that John Stott's work really helped me uh, with is to understand who we are together. Uh, so much of uh, John's writings dealt with issues that were tearing the church apart and one that's particularly pertinent right now is as a, a clear evangelical Christian uh, John Stott opened a lot of people's eyes to understand around the equality of men and women and to be able to encourage and promote women uh, in roles of leadership and preaching. And for me, a book that really changed my mind about that uh, was his little commentary on 1 Timothy. And he's such a brilliant biblical ex uh, expositor. He's so good at taking the text and making it clear to us. And I found his take on that in that 1 Timothy commentary absolutely world-changing. And now I'm a passionate egalitarian and, and John Stott was part of that journey for me. Uh, and the third area of course for me is who we are in Christ and for me the book that changed my mind about that uh, was John Stott's book The Cross of Christ and he just did a wonderful job of, it, of expounding the breadth of the cross and all that it means. He was down the line, he believed in penal substitution and propitiation but actually he was really keen to expand uh, the range of metaphors that Christians use, whether that's understanding redemption as Christ setting us free from slavery to sin, uh, or whether it's seeing the cross as a victory over the evil powers and, and Satan himself. And actually the way he systematically worked through that in that book was so helpful to me. So I'm very grateful for all that John Stott has written and uh, he's done in his life. I had the opportunity to meet him a couple of times and they were wonderful memories. Uh, I recommend all of his books to you and I hope they would help you too uh, to understand who you're supposed to be in the world, who we are together and what you mean to God. Mm -hmm.